If you want to know which brand of press on nails is actually the best, then you are in the right place because I have been asking myself the exact same question for a while now. Ever since I really discovered press on nails and realized how honestly life changing they are, I have been on a quest to find the brand that is the best. So in this video, I'm going to be trying out different brands of press on nails. So for this experiment, I rank the different nail brands and then I will average all the rankings together, kind of cumulative rank to come up with the all around winner. So first up, I'm gonna be looking at the price of the nails. I'm gonna average the three nails that I select for this video, the wear time. And for the wear time, I've decided to evaluate it based on the first two fingers that fall off to really say, okay, the nails are coming off at this point. You know, number three is going to be ease of application. Number four, this is probably the most important thing, at least for me. And this is the appearance of the nails. And really what I'm going for here is how much can these nails pass for a professional quality nail or how much do they look like press-ons? So let's get into it. So the first set of nails, and I've decided for each of the brands, I'm going to get three sets of nails, just to give them the benefit of the doubt in case one of them is just a dud. You know what I mean? So number one, I'm going to get a short set of just neutral nails, maybe a light pink or a nude, that kind of thing. The second set of nails, if they have it, is I'm going to try to get a set of nails that is transparent because what I have found is that for the brands, whenever I get transparent nails, they pretty much always look bad because normally you can see the glue through the transparent base. You can just tell that they're press-ons and if they don't have it, then I'm going to try to get something that just has like a weird pattern or something like that. And then number three is I'm going to get some glitter nails because those are probably my favorite. So that's the plan. The first brand I tried was Static Nails, and this one I have had my eye on for a long time. I've always been really intrigued by them, especially because they do claim to be reusable. So let's get into my experience. Okay, first impressions with these Static Nails, I'm kind of obsessed with the fact that all of the nails are in these nice little rows here. Oops. This like is such a time saver because normally I end up having to do this myself anyway, like laying them out on a piece of paper or something. So the fact that these are not all just jumbled up in a giant pile, like pretty much every other nail brand I've ever seen is kind of amazing. Like I've never seen this before. A definite thumbs up for finger suit for doing this because it seems simple, but it's actually like, this is going to save me a good few minutes here. So definitely this is what I like to see, you know? So I just put on the glitter static nails and I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed in them. Like, well, first of all, I I think the actual nails themselves look really, really nice. The only problems that I'm having is number one, they kind of have an inconsistent amount of glitter. Like some of them look almost like a gel polish where it's really like thick and it's super shiny. And then some of them just like don't have that much glitter in them. Like here you can see like, I don't know if you're able to see this, but like this hand is just more shiny than this hand. And maybe you're not gonna be able to tell that at all, but I can tell and it kind of bothers me. Everything from one of the containers was just a little bit less shiny than the other. And then the other problem is like, I feel like they just don't fit that well. Like they fit okay enough. Like I don't think most people who see my nails are gonna notice, but I definitely notice that most of them have a little bit of a gap between where I can see my natural nail kind of in the corners here. This could just be a personal problem. Like maybe other people find these nails fit really well, but for me, I don't mind they fit very well. And I also don't think that the consistency and how they are finished. And I also don't think they look consistent. Like, like one hand looks different from each other. This hand is just way more glittery than the other one, but I still think they look really nice. These are going to be my New Year's Eve nails. I like that. I don't know. Let's just see how they wear. Maybe it'll grow on me. 
I'll keep you posted. I've now had these static, so it is now January 9th. I put these nails on December 30th, so it's been like 10 days and they are going strong. Like they are going really, really strong. Like you can see, I have a little bit of growth. They're just like kind of growing out with my natural nail and I'm getting a little bit worried. Am I gonna be wearing these for the next month? Because they're, just, they're not coming off, like they are very sturdy. Static nails definitely seems to be winning so far on the durability, but just to show you, like they are kind of getting a little bit worn down over this 10 day period. So if you can see like the tips are kind of like chipping, not really chipping, but they're kind of wearing down. There's a little bit of like a white cast on the top where some of the glitter is kind of coming off the top. But overall, I think they still look really nice. What can I say? They're lasting a long time. So let's see how much longer these guys last. The next brand I tried was Chill Tips, and this brand is actually very similar to Static Nails in the sense that they claim that these are reusable. I don't really agree with that, but that's what they claim. This is another glue-on brand. I will say the biggest difference that I found is just the selection is a lot lower. Next up, we have Impress. And Impress is kind of the queen of press-on nails. This is the brand that if you've ever tried press-on nails before, chances are they are either Impress or they're gonna be the next brand I'm gonna talk about, which is Kiss. These are the two most commonly found brands in drugstores. I see these in Target, CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, etc. You can find these all over the place. So I just had to try them out. And Impress is actually a little bit different than the first Two brands in the sense that they are not glue on. They actually have an adhesive that's already attached to the nail itself. So you don't have to worry at all about glue. You just peel off this little sticker thing and just pop it on your nail. It's pretty easy to put on. So that's impressive. So next we're getting into another drugstore brand, which is Kiss. Again, this may be neck and neck with Impress of which one is the most ubiquitous in the press on nail world, but these are unlike Impress, these are glue on nails. So more similar to static nails or chill tips, which I talked about previously. Next up, we have a brand that's really completely different than any of the other brands I'm gonna talk about, and that is Manny Me. So Manny Me, I've seen ads for this company for quite a while. And basically it's more similar, I would say to like a nail polish or like kind of a cross between getting gel nails done and press on nails, because basically these are nail strips that are custom nails that you put on your nails. So it's a little bit different than a glue on or a press on nail, but it still kind of falls in that same category. I was really, really intrigued by this company for a while, but never really had a good reason to buy them until this video. So I was like, let's put them in here. These ones, I have to say I am the most excited to try. So they come in these little like this little container, this little like envelope thing. And they do actually include a like practice set. I should probably use these, but I'm just gonna go for it. Basically they're kind of like stickers. So they say you prep your nails, peel and apply, press and fold, and then file downwards. And they also gave me this like top coat, which is here. It seems like that's optional. Probably just do that just to like, you know, get the full experience. But I think I'm gonna go with these gold ones. So let's try them out. So I just finished the Manny Me and I'm gonna be honest, they're a little bit better looking than I thought. Just look like stickers, like look really juvenile and like look kind of bad to be honest, but they actually look better than I thought. I'm honestly kind of shocked that the fit of them was so good. There's a few little areas where maybe it's like slightly off, but for the most part, it looks like pretty much perfect. The thing with these is they definitely have more of like a nail polish vibe. So they're going to take the length and shape of your natural nail, and it's going to look more like you put gel nails on your natural nails. It's not gonna look like acrylic where you're gonna be able to extend the length of your nails or change the shape of your nail or anything like that. But if you do want more of that like gel manicure look, so far it's looking kind of good. So that took me 31 minutes <clears throat> and I have my last set of nails on. Far away, the pattern is super cute. Like I really like this floral pattern. 10 out of 10. When you look closer, I feel like this is really where the problems start to arise with these nails. And I saw these with the past ones. They look like stickers. I'm not really feeling these ones. Like again, the pattern is super cute. I think if I could make these look 
actually how they're supposed to look and not just like wrinkly stickers on my nails. I think I would really like these, but uh, I don't know. I feel like these are one of my least favorites just because the stickers just take a really long time to put on and I feel like they just don't look that good. Now, finally, we have a brand called Fingersuit and this is the company that I'm actually very familiar with. I've probably purchased like at least 10 sets of their nails before. These are another brand very similar to Impress in the sense that there is no glue involved with these nails. They are just adhered to the nail with an adhesive that is already attached to the nail. So if you are someone who does not like to deal with glue and drying time and all of that, then these could be a good option. They're kind of like a higher end version of Impress. And while I have had a lot of experience with these nails, this video, I did try to be as objective as possible and really evaluate this company solely based on the three sets of nails that I tried out in this video. So let's talk about it. I just put these on from Fingersuit. Look how cute these are. I feel like these are definitely one of my very favorites, like colors, like it's a very cool, it's like a blue green glitter. And I think it could work for like a Christmassy thing or for more of like a springtime, summertime color. Ah, so cute, I love these ones. It has been six months. I officially just took a six month break from my nail project, but I'm back again. And the reason I took a six month break was my nails really were not doing well. They were not doing well after so many press on nails, so many glue on nails, just like nonstop one after the next. And they needed a break. They needed a break. They probably did not need a whole six month break, but that's what they got. I feel like they have grown out probably five times by now and now they are nice and fresh and ready to start again. Now, after a year testing out these nails, let's talk about how they ultimately compare to each other on the criteria that is most important. So first let's talk about how long they last. And I think it's no surprise here that the glue on nails lasted the longest. So sixth place was finger suit. These are the press on nails. They lasted only about one day on average before they started falling off. Manny Me and Impress were both around two and a half to three days. These were were both again press on nails then the top three were all glue on nails which i think is no surprise but in third place was kiss which is the cheapest of the three glue on then static nails lasted for about one week 7.66 days on average and then in first place for the time that these nails lasted was chill tips on average these lasted over a week about eight and a half days before they started falling off. next let's talk about the appearance of the nails. So basically what I was judging this based on was essentially like how well do I think the quality of the nails themselves could pass for like a salon quality nail. And in sixth place, absolute worst was Manny Me. I'm going to be honest, these just did not look good. They had some moments where I thought they might be okay, but on average, these just look like stickers. They don't look good. Don't buy these. I didn't like them. Then we had Impress. So Impress, they look cheap, but they're better than Manny Me. In fourth place, we had Kiss, Finger suit was third place. And then I was really neck and neck with chill tips and static nails being the best. But ultimately I thought static nails looked a little bit better. I think they just look a little bit more of like a gel style finish or acrylic nails versus chill tips. Just has a slight bit of almost like a printed on kind of quality with some of the patterns. So that I put as second, but this was neck and neck for the appearance. Now, of course, we've got to talk about the price. And this is kind of the flip side of the earlier rankings. So it, the most expensive nails of the ones that I picked were static nails. So these came in the most expensive when I counted for shipping and everything. These were over $18 per set. So pretty expensive. And Chill Tips, Finger Suit, and Manny Me were all around that same ballpark between like $16 and $18. Really the leader of the pack when it comes to price is Kiss and Impress. Impress was only about $6.60 per set and Kiss was only $6.32 on average for the three sets I tried. So those were definitely the winners on price. Then let's talk about the fit of the nails. And this is gonna be something a little bit more personal because obviously my hands and my nails are not the exact same size and shape as everyone else's nails. But for me, 
me personally, I did have some very clear winners of which ones fit me the best. So Impress, I would say, were the worst fitting nails. I found that they were just too square. They didn't really fit like natural nails in my opinion. They also were just too small. Like I didn't have enough big size nails to fit my fingers. Fifth was Static Nails, which I'm gonna be honest, is a little bit disappointing because I did like Static Nails. Again, I feel like they just didn't fit me quite right. It was just kind of something about the shape of the nail. I usually ended up with kind of like a empty patch or like my nail kind of sticking out on the side and I didn't find that it fit quite as well as the other kinds. Finger suit was in fourth place. I thought that they fit pretty well, but for some reason I just feel like I couldn't ever get like quite the right fit on all of my nails, but definitely get, getting better at this point. Now third place was Manny Me and these probably were the best fitting on paper because they are measured for your specific nail and you do like take exact measurements of your nail. But I don't know, I feel like something about the sticker quality made them that even though they were perfect size for my nails, I feel like I could never get them aligned like just right with my nails. So even though they probably fit the best, they didn't feel like they look like they fit the best. So I put these in third place. Second was Kiss. And this one, I, I feel like Kiss in general, even though they are a cheaper nail, they do tend to fit me pretty well. And even though they're kind of under the same umbrella as Impress, they definitely have a way different sizing shape to them and they are bigger, I would say, than impressed nails and they did fit me pretty well. But the absolute winner on the fit has to be chill tips. These ones, I feel like it was my doppelganger who was the hand model to create these nails, but chill tips fit me absolutely perfectly. Like I, they look so good in terms of the fit. Like they, I don't, I don't even know what to say. They are absolutely the clear winner. Like 100% were chill tips on it. So overall, let me give you my overall ranking when I forced ranked on these different categories, how did the overall ranking turn out? So in last place of the six was unfortunately Manny Me. These ones I feel like just did not look that good at all. And it was just unfortunate. I, these were definitely the worst. In fifth place was Impress. You know, these are cheap nail and they look like it. I'm sorry, fifth place. And then in fourth place was Finger Suit. I do like the look of these nails and I think they have some nice qualities about them. Unfortunately, it just, they didn't last very long, which is kind of what dropped down these ones. And then on the top three, I think no surprise, these are all the glue on nails. These just last longer. I feel like they look better. And third place is Static Nails. Second place is Kiss. And you probably guessed it, but my absolute favorite nails of these whole bunch was Chill Tips. These ones I just absolutely love and I would absolutely buy again from in the future. So these were definitely my favorite. But if you have others that you'd like me to look into in the future, let me know down below. And until next time, bye.